Well, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create an admin user account on our Windows 8 operating system uh, with Hiron's Boot CD. Now, you can see here we can't get into the PC, and basically, if you can't get in there, you won't be able to have a look at all the files on the PC. So, what we can do with Hiron's Boot CD is create an admin account with that CD so we can just bypass that log into the admin account and have a look at all the files on this computer so let's reboot our system uh, into Hiron's boot CD and uh, we'll create this account so I'm going to restart the system and put my CD or USB thumb drive into the uh, computer and boot to that device which will have Hiron's boot CD on it if you don't know how to do that then I have made videos on how to do that for you Okay, so now we've booted up Hiron's Boot CD 15.2 and what we want to do here is come down to where it says Mini Windows XP. Click on that. Let this load up. So this loads up very, very quickly, as you can see. Now once we get on here, what we need to do is open up HB CD menu. Now you can either do that at the bottom right hand corner or you can click on the spanner and screwdriver there and this will open up the little program launcher click on programs password keys and then windows logon and we want to come down to this one here password renewal this is the one click on that this will open up this window here now once you get here we need to go to the uh, path of our windows directory now remember we are in the mini windows XP so we need to change that path so we can select a path and this will be now D on here so we're going to come to where it says windows click OK now once we've got that we're going to actually come down to where it says create a new administrator user okay now we can renew the password here as well now you see me do that in my last video but you can also create an admin account on this type of program here which is slightly different so I'm going to click on that so I'm going to uh, create a username and password for this and I'm just going to call this admin and we're going to put a password inside here and then what we're going to do is apply that okay so you must apply that once we've applied that we're going to click OK and then we need to click on quit just click on quit now we can uh, reboot our system I'm going to shut this down and restart our system remove the USB flash drive and uh, remove the CD-ROM drive if you've got CD this will then start to boot up And uh, what we need to do is click on here now. Now you can only see Brightech at the moment, but if I click on this little arrow here to switch user, you would now see admin. This is the account we've just added. So we can click on this, and now we can bypass that account and log in. It will then create a desktop. Just let it go through its uh, phase here. And there we are at our Metro user interface. All we need to do here is click on desktop. And as you can see, because we are um, an administrator on this account, we can have access to all of our files. So I'm going to come down to here, go to search. And then what we're looking for is a computer. So we can just type in up the top here if we wish. And there it is there. So we click on computer. This will open this up. We can now go into our C drive, users, and there we can see uh, Brightech is the account that we was locked out of. We can continue because we don't have permission to enter this. But because we're administrator on this other account, it will let us straight in there and we can now have access to all these files. If there was tons of files in here, we could have access to them. Pretty simple and pretty easy to do. 
So that's basically how you can create a user account or administrate a user account on a machine that you're locked out of with Hiram's Boot CD. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.